All right, everybody, this will be just a really short video about this sampling activity. If you were in a face-to-face -face class with me here at the a and Commerce campus, then what we would be doing is I would have these little baggies and we have different um, group names, I guess you would call it. Simple random sampling, here's one, systematic sampling, convenient sampling, stratified sampling, and down here at the bottom I have cluster sampling. So those are the five sampling types that we're talking about in this class. There's other things you can do, but these are the major ones that you'll see. And what we do is we hand out baggies and they have these strips of paper in them that have different situations that we want you to examine as a group and we put you in groups um, three to four people and we talk about okay what's going on in this particular sampling and what type is it so you would have these things laid out let me do see if I can get this out like this you'd have them laid out and uh, we don't care about the word sampling so I'll just kind of stick them like this I'm going to keep my stratified and my clustering together because those are the two group ones and so as I look at something I'm going to ask myself is that a group okay and if it's an already predetermined group then I'm going to look at these two if it's not a predetermined group then I'm going to look at the other three okay that's how I in Webster brain I start sorting these things out okay so uh, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of them and then I've been racking my brains on how I can do this with you as a group online and I've decided that I'm going to make it into a discussion post where I will put in problems for you to look at and you will need to comment on so many of them. So say I put up, I don't know how many I'm going to put up, probably like 10 different examples. Your, your class will have a discussion and you'll need to comment on at least five of those and back and forth or whatever and I will literally count how many of them you posted on and that will be determine your grade okay so that's the only way I can think to get you guys to communicate with one another so that'll be under discussions as soon as I can get it uploaded all right here's a sample draw a sample of eight eight animals by drawing a simple random sample of two animals from each group what kind of sample is this so We've apparently got different kind of animals. Maybe we're in a zoo or something like that. And we're drawing um, from the groups. Two animals from each animal, each group, and we want eight total. There must be four groups. So look at that. They're predetermined groups, stratified and clustered. That's I'm, I'm automatically going to right here. That's the way I'm doing it. Okay, ignore those top three because they don't matter because we're looking at a group, something that's predetermined groups. And it says, I'm doing a simple random sample out of, of two animals out of each group, okay? So remember, clustered was pick a cluster and do a census on it, several, several groups and do the census on it. Stratified is do all of your groups and pick a certain number or a certain percentage out of there. So since I'm doing each group, every group, and I want to do two out of every group, it says two, that means it's stratified. Does that make sense? So in the class, you would literally sit with a, as a group and, and sort these. It's a sorting activity, and you'd have groups, and then we talk about it at the end about which, which one really falls in each one. And I have an answer key, so I can tell you later, after you've had your discussions, which of these is... Uh, most likely in which one. So let's look. Customer survey. Survey. All the customers who entered a store on a particular day were given a survey to fill out concerning their opinions of the service at that store. What do you think? It's not simple random. It's not groups, first of all, so you can get rid of these two, right? So it says all the customers who entered a, a store on a particular day. So it's not random, right, because it's more of a census for that day. Okay. So then we're down to systematic, which is where I've got some kind of a pattern, or convenience, which is where they all come to me. Okay. 
And so as I look at that, I think, I don't see any pattern in there. It's not saying we're going to look at the fifth or the ninth person or whatever. So this would be convenient sampling. All the people come straight to me, and I get to survey them. Okay, so there you go. Convenient. Very convenient for me. All right. I'm going to do one more, maybe two more. I've got a couple here. Okay, parking on campus. A college faculty consisting of 400 men and 250 women. Okay, consists of. The college administration wants to draw a sample of 65 faculty members. Let's think about that for a second. Why 65? Because there's 400 men and 250 women, so that's 650, right? So they want 65 faculty members, or hopefully you're saying 10%, right? Okay. Ask their opinion about a new parking fee. Okay. They draw a simple random sample of 40 men and another simple random sample of 25 women. Why? Because 40 men is 10% of 400, right? And 25 women is 10% of 250, okay? So basically what they're saying is that they want a sample size of 10% out of each of these groups. Now look, it doesn't say groups anywhere in this problem, okay? But we know that they have them separated into males versus females, okay? So those are predetermined groups. I don't get to choose those, okay? That tells me I'm in either sam stratified sampling or cluster sampling. And which is it? Am I surveying all the men and ignoring the women? No. So it can't be cluster, right? So it's 10% of each. So I'm doing a set number or percentage of every group. There just happen to only be two groups in this case. Okay. So that's stratified. So we would have put that one right there. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense what the idea is for this activity and I will set it up. And the big thing for this, just like with your homework, is um, for this activity, it's not enough just to say, oh, I think that's stratified or, oh, I think that's simple random or whatever. You have to say it's stratified and here's why. So you have to justify your reasoning or else you're not going to get full credit for um, that response, which means you don't get full credit for that activity. So make sure you do that and I'll get it all set up in D2L and it'll be awesome. All right. Thank you. Talk to you later.